Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky review. This time we are going to go through Xanathar from Dungeons and Dragons. This, I believe, is absolutely massive compared to the figures. It comes with a few things as well, I believe, some accessories. It's got like a little gold mound or something to sit on, a little fish in a bowl. Not too sure if it comes with this like fruit platter pillow and mat, but look at the size of this thing. Seven and a half inch that way, 19 centimeters. So 25.4 centimeters the opposite way. So massive. So let's crack this open and see exactly what we've got. Boop. Okay, so they're all plastic, uh, no plastic packaging. So we've got one, two, three, four, five things, and a little leaflet, I'm presuming. This is like the instructions, we've got to put this, yep, yeah, we've got to put this little thing together. Okay, so it looks as though it comes with all like the little, what would you call them, tentacles, legs, arms, so, and they are all numbered in the little piece of paper, so we'll have a little look at that. So just opening out all the packaging. As I thought, it doesn't come with the little plate of fruit, pillow, and little, um, I suppose, cover or something. So it literally only comes with this, um, I suppose, coin mound and the little fish in the globe as well. But we've got all these things to put together. So they've got like little eyeballs, little eyeballs on the end there. So you've got green and red. Let's have a little look, another green. Red, red. Red. Another couple of red there, another red. So, there's quite a few red. Looks as though is there only two green. So is the two green ones, does that go anywhere special? I don't think colour wise the green is anything in one spot. I'm just looking at the picture now and there is a green one in the middle on the left and a green one on the top. Yeah, all the rest are red so the green one goes here hmm and then one here so I'm just gonna grab this off and try and fit all these because they come with little holes and little ball joint type of bungs So putting these on is definitely a two-handed thing. It's like I'm really it was it was really having to squeeze them on. But look at the size of this sort of a thing. You know, it's huge. Uh, like I said, the only accessory it comes with is this little fish in a bowl. So it's like a little. What is it, like an angel fish or something? So a little black and red on like a little gravelly type of base. But yeah, so that is the only thing it comes with, a little stand. The, the base that it sits on is like a big pile of gold coins. It's got golden chalices in there. Um, there's a skull there as well, but there's a, like a little divot 
on the insides where it had rest. And just placing it on there. Now, the figure itself, all of these are on ball joints, these like tentacle things um, with the eyeballs in. And they've all got like, some of them have got gold gauntlets on, some of them have got golden rings on. And the, the mouth on this is crazy. He's got a little lip, golden lip ring. The teeth on this is quite sharp and jagged. The tongue mould is just stiff. It's not um, soft or anything. But the jaw does close. The mouth does close on it. Just pull it up. And on the roof of the mouth, you've got a little dial. Now the eyeball, the main eyeball, it's like encased in like a like a plastic type of cover so this actually is a little turner if I just get me finger in so you see it turns so you can go, just go the left and right I mean you can push it from the front as well if you just wanted to have it on display but fiddling about with it so I, it's it's hard to really get my fingers in without it getting caught on these teeth because these teeth are quite sharp. But I mean the texture on this bad boy, this is the base of them. There, uh, so you've got all of them grooves going round, all the way up through to the top of his head, and then it, it's like reptile type of skin. You can feel on it and then it's got these like little three thorns or horns is it either side as well the mouth on it i can't say it, the mouth looks fantastic on it but yeah all of these you can position bend and twist round so you could even pop them off if you wanted to make it another change and stuff have more gold the gold rings and gauntlets around the front I mean, the choice is yours, I think, where you actually place them all. Well, there he is, Xanthar from Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, yeah, massive creature. Uh, I'm probably going to hang this guy from maybe some Invisiwire. So, because he does float, really. Oh god, he is, he is really quite heavy as well. So I don't know how I'm going to do that, but probably have it, if I bring my camera up, just probably have it floating or something. Maybe by the fright zone. <laughs> I will be doing like a full uh, collection update as well, pretty much soon. So I will put that up as soon as I can. And hopefully get all of these set up for you to actually have a good look at the collection so far. But, do us a favour guys, drop us those comments. Let me know your thoughts on this and even the Dungeons and Dragons collection. So, have you been going down that route, whether it be the movie, whether it be the cartoon? Let me know your thoughts. While you're there, do the usual for us with the like, subscribe, and tickle that little bell notification. So it really helping me out. But thanks again for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care, guys.